natural hair care, start to finish wig installation, and my updated go-to makeup routine. Every time I try to talk and do my makeup, I just be like, man. Hey y'all, it's all of destiny. While I have your attention for the next 20 minutes, this will be a hair and makeup total transformation. Let's get into it. Starting off by taking my organics by Africa's Best Hair Mayo, and I'm just going to apply this to my hair in sections. I was able to get about three uses out of this. I used to use this on my hair all the time when I was relaxed, and my natural hair still loves it just the same. I know I'm not the only one. When you get to like the last of it, you're trying to get out every single bit. Who can relate? to detangle from the bottom, working my way up using my shower comb that I got from Dollar Tree. Just twist up the section, sit underneath my hooded dryer. I sat under there for like 25 minutes while I replied to a few YouTube comments from you all, just to kill some time. After rinsing that out, I went ahead and blow dried my hair on the cool setting using my Red by Kiss Detangler Blow Dryer. A quick little magic trick just to go ahead and get my hair braided. Ooh, look what we have. I connect each of my braids when braiding my hair. Take the very last one and tuck that into the previous braid. Next up, I'm taking my Amania Beauty High Maintenance Hair Elixir. This is a multi-purpose hair and scalp oil. It's by fellow YouTuber Nia Imani here on YouTube. And I'm just going to apply a few drops of that to my scalp and then I massage it in. Oil is great for stimulating hair growth, sealing in the moisture, and soothing your scalp. If you've ever wondered about my natural hair care routine underneath my wigs, there you have it. Today's video is sponsored by Wild African. Y'all know I love working with Wild African. I'm going to go ahead and take my toner. The one I'm currently using is my Neutrogena and that's just going to help me to remove any oil that may be on my forehead before applying the got to be glue gel. That way once I lay and slay my wig, it'll stay on my head, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut out a little hole by my ear that'll help to hold down my stocking cap to help me further do the stocking cap method. Take the got to be glue gel. It's not a glue, it's a gel. And I apply that right to the front portion of my hairline. So today's video is sponsored by Wow African. This is the brown wavy human virgin hair wig. The length is 18 inches. The density is 150%. It does have the 13 by six deep parting space, which we love. And there is the undetectable HD lace and the knots are already bleached for us. So y'all know I love that. Let's work. We're just getting straight to applying the wig, okay? So it does have the adjustable removable um, elastic band as well. I'm gonna move that towards the center a little bit. That will help me to have more of a snug fit. And y'all know snacks love snacks. <laughs> if you've never tried the apple cinnamon um, rice crisp by Quaker, 10 out of 10, totally recommend. So I'm sitting underneath the hooded dryer cause y'all know I like to multitask. That's gonna help me to kind of get the stocking cap method to basically do its thing. You want the stocking cap to just be on your head, not going anywhere. So instead of me holding the blow dryer, I can multitask by just using my Layla Ali bonnet dryer. I make a part and then I begin to kind of pluck. You can't mess this up as long as you're kind of bouncing around um, and not staying in one spot. I didn't do too much plucking, I won't even lie. I go ahead and just kind of cut off that lace that's in the back and then I'm gonna use some scissors to remove the rest of the stocking cap. I feel like some of this is self-explanatory so I'm gonna let y'all watch for a while and then I'll be back. It's not that I don't want you here I to try on my wig first to see how it's fitting and that'll help me to know what I want to do next. So I picked up this wig, Wig Extensions Lace Tint Mini. This is semi-permanent and I'm just going to spray the inside of my lace with this. To find your perfect shade, it kind of gives you a guide of how many sprays you may need. So less is definitely more. An alternative method to the lace tint spray would just be using your uh, makeup, either your foundation or like a powder of choice. The first time we were using the got to be glued, that was to secure down the stocking cap. So now we're going to apply more of that and this time it's going to be used to hold down our wig. Y'all know I like to do a lot of glueless methods, but since I hadn't worn a wig in a while, I was like, let's go ahead and like do it. If we're gonna do it, let's do it all the way, okay? So I decided to kind of just put this one down. I've been wearing it for about four days now. I'll probably take it off soon, but for now, we good. I'm loving it. So the got to be glue gel is kind of almost set. It's not like completely dry because I wouldn't be able to get the lace to stick into it. But once it's like a little bit tacky, I'm just using my fingertips to kind of press back and press the lace into the got to be glue gel. 
Another option would be to just use your comb to kind of comb the lace back, like combing through the hair would help you to press the lace into the Got To Be Glued Gel. I hadn't done a wig install on myself in like two months, <laughs> if y'all like, you know, are familiar with my channel. So I was just kind of winging it and kind of feeling like I probably forgot my own methods or something, but in the end, everything is gonna turn out really cute. I'm gonna go ahead now and cut off the excess lace just using these little lash tweezers. I mean, just using these little lash scissors and then you want to cut down and around the ear tab to kind of expose your ear that helps you to remove that excess lace for a more customized fit comment down below if you like a middle part or a side part on yourself i'm more of a side part kind of girl but since this one came as a middle part this is how i'll keep it like i said i've been wearing it for about four days now so i'm currently now wearing a side part just to switch it up Do y'all remember Pump It Up, the Pump It Up Spritz? That works very well for installing your wigs as well. Just want to put that out there. So I'm going to do a little bit of baby hair, not too much. I like to kind of part it and then I sweep it to the side to see where it's going to fall before I cut it. I'm going to leave out baby hair right above the brows and then I'm going to leave out a little piece on the end at the sideburn area, if you will. Once I've taken out the pieces that I want to keep for baby hair, I'm going to hit it with a little bit more of the Pump It Up just to kind of make sure that it's even more snug and secure. Thought I wanted to straighten out the hair, but I decided to go ahead and keep the curls instead. The flat iron is my new me um, flat iron. Whenever I do my wigs, I honestly just put it on 450, super hot, so that I can curl really fast. So at some point, I'm going to switch over from using my new me flat iron for the curls to just using the new me curling wand. It's only an on and off switch, so it's not a temperature dial on that one. Um, I hear a lot of people sometimes when I'm watching them do their hair and they'll say like, oh, this hair doesn't hold a curl, blah, blah, blah. Just a quick little hair hack, whether a wig or your own natural hair. Allow your curls to cool before running your hands through it. And I promise and guarantee you, the curls ain't gonna go nowhere, baby. It's gonna be set, basically. It's like if you wait to fold your clothes after they already cooled off. Like if you let the wrinkles set, they're stuck. But y'all get the analogy, you get what I mean. get to it now baby we getting closer so i'm gonna take my nairobi rapid shine foaming lotion and i'm just gonna pump that onto my edge brush from the beauty supply store nairobi's from the beauty supply store i'm gonna have all the links for y'all down below okay and i'm just gonna use that to lay the baby hair less is more so i don't trim off all of the hair yet i like to start swooping it into place and then i trim off the wrist we looking good and if you want to like tweeze some hair as well that's the perfect time to do that too so you can get more of a natural look we know it's a wig but you just want to make sure that your wigs laid to the best of your ability that's all i'm saying don't y'all hate when y'all watch people curl their hair and pull them out i know you ain't gotta type it <laughs> I'm like, why are you pulling these curls, love? But I got a fluff and stuff. your number no sir it always be the brown for me i haven't done my brows today but i'm pretty sure there's something left on here to do this with <laughs> shake it back like that forward like that I just need to run a few errands real quick, but I'm gonna come back and do my makeup. Probably not today, tomorrow, and then I'll put everything together for you all. Leave it to Wild African to get me all the way together. Every single time. I'm gonna have the link to this wig in the description box down below. Okay, you all, so it's the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup now. So this is my face freshly washed. When I do my skincare routine, if it's 
the daytime i follow up with my ambi even and clear uh, this is a nourishing daily facial moisturizer this one has spf so in the daytime this is the one that i'll apply why am i about to put on a second layer i don't know i'll put the picture of the other one that i have on the screen those are the only two that i'm currently using i'm going to do update skincare routine soon by the way sometimes i do my brows first sometimes i don't it really just depends I recently reordered the Becca Foundation, but when they had the VIB sale, we love getting something for a little bit cheaper than what it usually costs. So I got the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Mine is in amber. And this is going to kind of really be me kind of walking you all through the way I do my makeup. So it's not going to be as much chit chat style. I want to break down the way that I use what I use. Ooh, we forgetting the primer. This is why I don't talk and do my makeup. <laughs> yeah, like in some of my videos I'll kind of do like a chat while I'm doing my makeup but a lot of you all on Instagram and even here on YouTube are asking me to kind of walk you all through my current makeup routine so that's what I'm gonna do the Becca ever met poreless priming perfecter I just put this on underneath my makeup and I also got this from Sephora this is the smaller one my friend Jerrica likes the Becca products I had never used their primer before. Um, I used their foundation, but she was just like, give up, give the primer a try. So I was like, okay, cool. So when it was on sale, I was like, let me grab it. With the Becca foundation, you really don't need the matching primer as well because the foundation itself is like really good. I think I counted 13 products. I'm gonna have them all linked for you all down below. The Becca foundation, where I only take two pumps and then I just kind of start distributing that around my face. Yeah, since I've used this foundation before, I just know what my shade is in it. But if you would need help with shade matching, yourself definitely ask for help in the store i don't think sephora is doing it right now that's why for a while i hadn't bought any new products because i was like whichever uh setting spray you have i got this from jackie Ina. missed it all over your face since i ran out of my urban decay all nighter i recently picked up the maybelline new york lasting fix this is a makeup setting spray up to 16 hours wear matte finish i'm just gonna shake it up and then you just mist it twice over the face Okay, four times. My beauty blender, or I'll take the e.l.f. stipple brush. I like the e.l.f. brushes because they're labeled. I've been doing my makeup for a while, but I still, sometimes it's like, hmm, what brush should I use for this? Dab this into my face. So I was trying to decide if I wanted this to be a, no, I'm gonna do a separate, separate life update video. So after the foundation step, I like to take my concealer. I love the e.l.f. one, so since I ran out, I just recently repurchased. I didn't repurchase in the same shade though. So these are the spots where I put my um, concealer. I guess this is like the updated way. I don't have a TikTok, but this is how I saw people doing it on TikTok. Um, if you don't wanna do it this way, then you just, you know, go all the way across. And then I blend starting from the bottom, working my way up. I do the chin first. I don't always put it right here on my chin. Then I kind of do what I consider reverse contouring. I'm not necessarily going to use a darker concealer to contour. If you look at your face, you can see where it's naturally darker it before you put your foundation on. And so by me putting the lighter one underneath, it's just like reverse contouring and then I kind of skip that step. I also hit my forehead underneath the eyes. When you use a cream product, it's just gonna move around like this. You want to basically set it with powder. But I use the Maybelline Fit Me as in like medium 20. If I don't use this, then sometimes I reach for my Sasha Buttercup. If I was zoned out listening to my music, this the routine I'm trying to show y'all when somebody be like, hey, we on the way, da da da. Be ready. I dip into it like this, then I do it like that. If you don't make this face, you're not gonna get it right. <laughs> I'm kidding, but you wanna go right here along the side of the nose and it's gonna kind of form that line for you. I look up and I go around. It just helps me to kind of stretch underneath the eye so that it's not a crease right there. And since this is kind of beginner, Let's just press it in instead, instead of leaving it on to bake. Starting right here on the side of the nose, it's going to help to contour it for you without you using an additional product to do that with. The fact that I'm sitting here thinking I'm explaining what I do. Yeah, I do my face, but I don't look at it as me being a professional or anything. I don't know. Okay. So I take my Sephora Micro Smooth Mahogany Deep number 56. I love this brush for it. It's super like dense. It's the Japanese, Japanese, I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't dig, dig the foundation up or anything. It's 11 piece or the 19 piece. I'll link it down below the e.l.f. brushes. This is the powder brush. These are like the same basically. Flat like this and it's helping you to really just press the product into the skin. So I got this one from Marshall, so I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I'm gonna use this one instead since I know I can link the entire pack of e.l.f. brushes. 
So I just tap onto that. I'm laying this down on top of it before doing circular motions. And I kind of go in a three basically. So it's like down and around, down and around on both sides. Begin to also start tapping and dusting off that powder. And this I'm using basically all over the face, except for underneath the eyes, only a little bit. So after that, I'm taking my e.l.f. complexion brush as well as the e.l.f. contour palette. I tap in the middle so that I pick up some of both of them. Get off a little bit of the excess. And now you can do your circular motion. Since we've set down that layer, we won't be digging up the foundation. Same little three motion again. And the circular motions help you to avoid harsh lines, basically. Elf eyeshadow C brush, but I'm actually gonna use this one to contour my nose. Just tap into the lighter one right here. So for the eyes, I actually take my blush. I saw Sophiology do this in one of her recent makeup tutorials and I was like, oh, I never thought to do that. It helps you to use your product in more than one way, which I like that. <laughs> NARS Orgasm X blush. This is a blending brush, actually. Start sweeping it right along my eyelid. I kind of tap and sweep. See how that looks? Really pretty. And then I want to do the same thing underneath the eye. So I take a smaller brush. This is another e.l.f. brush. It's just a crease brush. Just sweep it underneath here. Sometimes going in too far closes your eye off. But this is just soft. And I don't go too far out. I want it to kind of give me a rounded shape. So it's not like snatched wing or anything with the eyeshadow. Then you can use the crease brush where it's like the end of it. And just do circular motions that'll kind of diffuse it upwards a little bit so that it's not harsh. Basically, you want to blend, blend, friend, okay? <laughs> as long as everything is blended, you're good. Let's go ahead and do the brows. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in dark chocolate. It has a spoolie on one end, pencil on the other side. So I brush them up. I have a separate brow tutorial. I'll link it down below, but I'm still going to show you all how to do my brows. So I'm using light continuous strokes outline underneath the bottom portion first. I brush down the hair at the top near the tail, and then I fill in that sparse area, and then I outline the top portion of the brow, brush that out, and then I fill in the inside just a little bit. concealer brush the same concealer that we use light shade underneath the brows but I'm gonna go in with my foundation color on top just sweep it underneath the brow I kind of tap at it to kind of bring it down not disturb the line that's what's gonna really give you that sharp clean look fading it into the blush that we've used just by pulling it down <laughs> Every time I try to talk and do my makeup, I just be like, man. Elf blush brush and then the same NARS blush. If you smile, you can see where your cheeks are. So tap it right at the cheek and back. Or you can tap it here and down. If you have peach fuzz on the face, the more you kind of go down a little bit with your brush instead of up, you're not making the hair stand up. I use more blush than I usually would since we have to wear masks. Since the blush is kind of on the top, that way when I put the mask on and then when I take it off, so much of my blush doesn't come off if that makes sense you can probably see it i don't want to apply it to where it's like oh you can see it because i still gotta look you know decent in real life anytime you use a cream product just put some powder on top of it just tap into the brow as well if you would like just not too hard that helps it to sit the more the merrier you know and then you can get you a little bougie fan like this from the beauty supply store go ahead i got you in my headphone you can talk tell me what you were about to say oh is giving so with this look lately i have been doing just like mascara only because it was just so soft so cute i don't know how to explain it but sometimes i just like the look of just mascara only and if you kind of squint down like this you can get behind the lash oh look at that because i know you see it it just hit with the blush it really does i need to do a life update soon so if y'all see another makeup tutorial after this just click when it say life update because I really need to tell y'all some stuff. I try not to like wiggle like this because if I just brush straight up, it helps me to keep each individual lash separated. Then I'm going to look down and do the same thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I have these uh, lashes that Wild Africa sent me, but for now I'm going to skip them. If I come back later in the day and put them on, but for daytime, I think I like the way this looks without the lashes. Lip combo. I have a lip combo, but sometimes I just slap a gloss on. This is the Fenty Gloss and Fussy. You can use a liner if you want. Sometimes I don't.
So to maximize my use of this product, I'm just going to take the highlight that comes with the e.l.f. Contour Kit. I apply that only to like the center areas of my face, not necessarily the cheekbones. We got our highlight on, but just know the real glow comes from within. Don't ever forget that. Look, baby, it's the hair for me, the makeup for me. Very much given. Mm. She. Mm -mm -mm. It's very much given a skirm. Little mama with the brown hair. Look at oh so luscious and oh so good like. I did go ahead and put on some lashes. I was just rushing. We'll talk about that soon. If I didn't mention it yet in this video, I don't know why I keep prolonging mentioning it to you all. You know how sometimes like everything around you is moving faster than what you can keep up? That's how I feel. In a good way, but it's just like, ooh. <laughs> Overwhelmed. I'll do a life update soon. It's like, whew questions and comments be sure to leave all of that down below if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up the way i will know to do more videos like this one we are on the road to 300k so if you're still here it means you like me let's make this relationship official okay make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button all of the products will be listed down below special thank you to wild african for sponsoring today's video and as always i thank you all so much for watching if you all will be trying out this makeup look be sure to publicly tag me on your instagram story so i can repost you bye